All right, YouTube, what is up? I'm Taylor. Welcome back to my channel. This is kind of an experimental video because I just got my laptop back from the shop. I'm not entirely sure it's going to be working. Bear with me. If there's still static and all that kind of crap, let me know and I'll work on it and throw it against the wall because it's been a frustrating thing. I, it's just take me about eight hours just today to reinstall my software and everything else and I feel like I've been going away forever. And by the time you see this, hopefully none of this will matter. Hopefully I'll be back for a bit. And uh, hopefully I'll have, uh, you know, regained my je ne sais quoi or how Taylor got his groove back. Doesn't matter. Anyways, this is a comic book mystery box by Silverback Graphics. I... Instagrammer. I'm going to leave a noty note down below. I, I, think, I think it was $75 shipped. No, 55? I don't remember things is hard. I can't even remember the grand prize. I think it was first appearance of the mask in Dark Horse Presents, but I'm not 100% sure. Uh, I know I didn't win it because uh, uh, he posted the other day, it's like, four boxes left, no grand prize found, which kind of sucks because, like, I, I get why people do that, and I get why you're trying to sell your boxes. I just wish one of two things. I wish you'd either wait to, to ship them all, you know, until everyone gets a fair shot at it, or just don't announce that you don't that, that the boxes don't have it. I don't know, because then you're like, oh, I bought this, and well, yay. I don't know. I, I don't know. There's there's a perfect way to do it. But I know a lot of people like raffle off the prize too. I kind of like that idea, sort of, but I also don't like it if uh, if, if that happens, you know, before people get their boxes. I, I think I think just waiting for people to get their boxes is a good way to do that raffle. But then you end up having to ship things twice. And so I understand why folks don't do it. It's just, I don't know if there's a good way to do it. I really don't. Uh, I, I, I like the idea, though, of, of being a mystery and, like, everybody having the chance to win. And, okay, so now I don't, I know I didn't win. So now I'm just going to be like, all right, did I get my value? Did I get interesting books? And I'd, will I get something from this buyer, this seller again? I don't know the answer to that because, well... My first time doing it. Um, interesting packing. Uh, the The bag was cool. It's a sort of homemade, well, kind of homemade Gemini. But, you know, so it looks decent. I don't know if there's a right or a wrong way to do these either. They're kind of on both sides. So I'm just going to start and I just smack my mic. So that's a sure test to see if it's working. So I'm just going to start here and we'll see what happens. Um, like I said, I think it was $55 shipped. I might not know all these. Um... Silver Graphics Presents, okay, yeah, so here is the card, so I'm guessing this is the right way to do it. So this is box number 7 of 10, and yeah, there was a Grand Prince by the Mask, which I did not get. So, cool graphics, I like the, you know, way of doing this, and I like all this kind of stuff. You know, it's an interesting, interesting approach and, and, and things, so. Uh, here we go, Red Lantern is number 1, I actually don't think this is much of a key, uh, the main Red Lantern I know of is Atrocitus, and this is not the first appearance, but it's an interesting little book. And, alright, we've got the uh, Ghost Rider. I am not up on my Ghost Rider keys either, I, but I don't know if this is one. I'm gonna go ahead and guess no, but I could be wrong. Alright, uh, Spider-Man 338. I'm gonna, my mic's, like, right in the way. Again, this is, like, I feel like I'm way out of shape, and, like, I'm just getting back on the... The YouTube gym. It's only been a couple days, but it's just weird how your body and your everything you forget things. Sinister Six. Um, these guys might be coming to the MCU. I, again, this is just gonna, if if so, this is not this is still gonna be a minor key. So far, I think everything in here is just minor minor keys, if a key at all. But that's fine. Um, not they're not all going to be. And I'm hoping they get more key ish as the bottom goes on. So I'm not entirely sure that's the case. Like Mighty Avengers number seven. I think this is volume two. It could be wrong. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I, I feel like I'm out of shape judging my comics, too. So, Rhino. Cool Rhino cover. Web of Spider-Man. Uh, yeah. The Rhino number three. Direct edition. Uh, these are all in really good shape, and they're all in, like, Mylar or full Mylar, which is kind of nice. So, you know, I'm giving them credit there. And, okay, Reign of Superman. Uh, this is Action Comics number 687. It's the first appearance of the Eradicator, the Kryptonian Regeneration Matrix. It says it on the back. I don't, I'm not up. I, I, uh, you know, all these are in pretty good shape. I mean, there's a couple of, like, minor non-breaking ticks on this and some color rub and stuff. And there's a last on a Krypton poster. Uh, this is going to be a minor, minor key, <laughs> if at all. I don't know. Is the Eradicator a character in DC? Um, no. I don't remember things. Remember things is hard, people. Did I say that already? 
Here we go. This is kind of a cool one. I think I don't think it. I don't think it's an enormous key, but it's Dark Horse presents Predator. It's a cool cover. Um, yeah, this is so far my favorite of the bunch. Although this, I think it's about to be replaced by this one. So I, I did. I think I'll open these in the right order because we're getting at least some older goodness here. Uh, we got Justice League of America number one hundred, which is kind of cool. I've sort of started picking up some of these old Justice League issues. Some of the Silver Age DC stuff is just fun. It's just kind of wacky and weird and like, you know, um, just, just crazy enough to be <laughs> worth it. A good escapism. Like, some of the Marvel stuff it takes itself too seriously and stuff. And, and some of the DC stuff does not too. But these, these, these stories back then, they just did not. And like, there's something fun about some of that. Like, although uh, this is a funeral one, so maybe I'm wrong on this. And maybe it is very, very serious. Uh, I don't know, but I'm going to probably hold on to this one for now, and this one as well, so there we have it, uh, Marvel Premiere presents uh, Marvel Premiere number 25 featuring Iron Fist, so we got $55 shipped, it's not a bad box, um, I, I got one of my friends, Eddie, at Old Man Collectibles said, hey, you're going to get some weird stuff in here, and I kind of did, um, but no, I don't know if it's any weirder than any of the other boxes I've gotten from other sellers, um, I think some of the others, oh, hang on, there might be something else, Oh, here we go. Nope. Maybe? Ah, here we go. Okay, this is what I was sort of missing out on. Like, And, oh, so this is, uh... It, it's sort of... Oh, okay. So this is a, a key guide that he pro he provides, which is kind of nice. Because, I, again, I don't know all this, so let's let's see what we have here. Um, our opening number five... Okay, so this... Uh, look, we're going to go back in reverse order, and I'll tell you what, what's going on here. Marvel Premier number 25 is the first John Byrne work on Iron Fist, which I did not know, which is kind of cool. So, again, not a huge key. Um, uh, Just League of America 100, first meeting of Golden Age and Silver Age Wonder Woman, and first appearance of Nebula Man and Lord Havoc. So, that's pretty cool. Uh, Dark Horse presents number 36. Oh, hey, this is the first Aliens vs. Predator uh, dark uh, painted, and it's a painted variant. Uh, all right, and then the Superman I we already talked about, and okay, so he this was supposed to be uh, Marvel Premier number thirty seven, but I guess it was not in good shape, so he replaced it with uh, um, the Web of Spider Man, the Gauntlet number three, Rhino's Gauntlet Battle uh, from his point of view. So this is a replacement book. It's a cool cover, and I'm not familiar with it, but I did. I mean, my my favorite cover the bunch. So there you go, uh, Mighty Avengers. Okay, this is the first appearance of the People's Defense Force. So it is a minor key. Uh, you know, uh, the, the unspoken lady, the Lady of Suns and Scientific Beast is a 50s variant. So I got, I'll probably hold on to some of these for a bit. Um, what else? Okay. Spider-Man, Doc Ock, Black Mills, Sandmar. Okay, so this is not, not a key, but, you know, it's Eric Larson, and it's a fun Spider-Man, and all the Spider-Man books are kind of going a little bit nuts. Uh, Marvel Comics presents the Ghost Rider. Blood first, bloodthirst possesses Morbius to help kill Lillian, kill the Midnight Suns. I don't know, whatever. Uh, <laughs> this one's uh, like I said. I'm probably not gonna hold on to this one. It's just not my jam. Um, you know, I don't collect. I don't collect Ghost Rider. Although I probably should start. I just uh, I can't keep the uh, can't keep up with everything, honestly. <laughs> and here we go. Red Lantern number one. First appearance of Nightlick, Blaze, and Baxter. Who I have no idea. So. I know it's a longer video than I said I was going to make, but that's because this showed up, and I really like this. Um, so this, yeah, I'd say definitely worth 55 bucks. I, I like the fact that he replaced a book that he said wasn't great and, and did something else with it, which is cool. I, again, just the minor nitpicking, um, wishing that, like, uh, it would have been nice to, like, know, not, you know, still have some mystery as to whether or not I won. That's about it. Oh, this is signed, too, so. Gonna, it's like, it can't probably, it's not showing up, and my mic is still, Jesus Christ. All right, there you go. So, it's a fun box. Uh, yeah, so, Silver Rock Graphics, uh, give them a whirl. Uh, Instagram link is going to be down below, down, be down below, yeah. Look into the camera, Taylor. This is not your first rodeo. It's like your second rodeo. Um, yeah, my favorite books of the, this is probably, honestly, this is probably my favorite book of the box. The, now nah, the Justice League 100. Favorite cover is going to be the Web of Spider-Man. And, you know, probably most valuable, I'm going to guess, is Iron Fist. So, maybe, eh, maybe not. That's just the order they're in, and maybe the maybe my judgment on things is all wrong because I'm always wrong. I don't know what's going on ever. Hopefully there's no cracking. Hopefully the mic works. Hopefully the thing records, and hopefully I get it uploaded, and hopefully everything's back to somewhat normal. 
because I missed you, YouTube. I felt naked without you. Mostly because I was naked without you, because the camera wasn't on, so I could be naked. All right, that's all I got. Um, have a good day. Don't be dick.